And President Biden speaking from the White House earlier today after a phone call with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The president giving an update on the early stages of this war, including the hostage situation and reiterating Israel has the full support of the U.S. The president saying not only does Israel have a right to respond, but a duty to do so, adding if this happened in the U.S., the response would be decisive and overwhelming. Washington, D.C. Bureau's Peter Zampa has more. President Joe Biden speaking from the White House after a phone call with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The president giving an update on the early stages of this war, including the hostage situation, and reiterating Israel has the full support of the United States. The president saying not only does Israel have a right to respond, but a duty to do so, adding if this happened in the U.S., the response would be decisive and overwhelming. President Biden confirming Americans are among the hostages currently held by Hamas, but not providing a number. He says his administration is in constant contact with partners around the world as the U.S. moves to send more military force to the region, like the USS Gerald R. Ford, the largest aircraft carrier on the planet. The president also saying air power will be strengthened and more ammunition and interceptors to replenish the Iron Dome air defense system are being sent. The president also warning anyone on American soil against hate directed toward Jewish communities, saying security is being bolstered on the homeland. And he issued a fresh warning abroad. If any hostile actors are planning to take advantage of this situation, don't. Let there be no doubt the United States has Israel's back. We will make sure the Jewish and Democratic State of Israel can defend itself today, tomorrow, as we always have. President Biden also saying he's urging Congress to take action and get Israel the resources that they need. However, without a Speaker of the House of Representatives, it's unclear exactly when that Israeli aid might pass through Congress. Republicans are meeting early this week to begin the process of electing a new Speaker. Reporting in Washington, I'm Peter Zampa.